So let's go ahead and run this code um, and see what result we, re we achieve. So let me just refresh the page and you can see that the file to delete is still there. So uh, we can double check if this is working. Uh, we're making sure it's there first of all. Let's click on file.php. Okay, so file file to delete.txt has been deleted. Let's go back and refresh and you can see that that's been deleted. So now what happens if we run the code again, this function is not going to work because it's not going to be able to find the file specified. Let's click on that. Okay, so we get a warning up. So unlink file to delete, no such file or directory. And we've got our error message up here. So what we can do is we can actually change our code. Uh, it says here file has been deleted. Uh, we don't want to keep that in the editor. So uh, what we can do is we can change our code and we can put an at symbol before this. So we're not going to get this warning up in PHP. Let's go ahead and refresh and you can see that we've just got our plain error message um, on its own. So now we've successfully looked at deleting a file, what happens if we want to rename a file? So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of everything on this page. Okay, so we want to uh, we want to rename this file to a random um, array, if you like, of numbers. So we're going to be using the rand function to generate a large random number and then we're going to rename this uh, file here to that random number and then .txt. So we're still maintaining the file extension. Okay, so let's go ahead to file.php. Let's first of all specify the file name in, uh, in a string data type. So this is file to rename .txt. Now let's go ahead and create a random number. Now if you haven't already looked at creating random numbers in PHP, we use the rand function. So let's go ahead and say rand is equal to rand and this is going to take two parameters. It's going to take a lower and an upper limit. So we can say set our lower limit to 10,000 and we could set our upper limit to 99,999. So this is going to generate um, a five digit number between these two numbers. So this is the lower and this is the upper here. So the um, function name that we use is simply rename. So remember before I said delete isn't as obvious when we use the unlink function, but with renaming we just use the rename function. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's say rename. Now this is going to take two parameters obviously because what we need to do is specify the file name to rename and also what we want to call it after that. So let's go ahead and we'll say uh, rename file name and we're renaming this to rand, remember you need to append on .txt because we're still maintaining the file extension. So if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, append on a .txt, this rand value is just going to be the file itself. So we're just going to have a number. Uh, so it's going to be an unspecified file type. So again, let's go ahead and enclose this in um, an if statement. So what we're doing is we're checking that the file has been successfully renamed. And then otherwise, we're giving an error message. So let's go ahead and say echo file, and then we can append on file name, and then we can append on has been renamed to, and then we can append on the file name that has been renamed to, so rand, and then it's .txt. So we'll put that in strong, and we'll put that in strong there, um, and then file, file name. So it's just basically um, basic concatenation of string data with uh, the inclusion of variables. So um, otherwise, let's go ahead and say error renaming. Okay, so this is going to happen, this error is going to be produced when we've already renamed the file name to the random.txt. So like I said before, the reason you might want to rename your files to a random number is to keep them hidden from users. You may have this uh, random number stored in a database somewhere, so your database knows where the file is, but your users don't. So they won't be able to uh, look at the files specifically on the server. There's many reasons why you'd want to obviously rename a file, but I'm just giving this an, as an example. So let's go back and refresh you can see that we've still got file to rename.txt. Let's go into file.php. So now it says file, file to rename.txt has been renamed to 41975.txt. Okay, so we've successfully renamed it to a, um, a random number. Now let's go back again and let's refresh and you can see that that in fact has changed to 41975.txt. So in this tutorial, we've looked successfully at the unlink and the rename function, why they might be useful, and we've just given a brief example. So remember, when you put your functions inside um, an if statement, what we're doing is we're checking that this function is successful. Therefore, we're only giving a confirmation message when we've successfully, let's say, renamed or deleted a file.